Hi there, everybody. I'm so glad you could join us again. Hi. Dake, are you excited about the story for, for today? Yes. Today is the story about a giant staircase. Huh? A giant staircase. Do you think we should probably just get into the story? Okay. So now we've worked our way up to Genesis 11. A giant staircase to heaven. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? I, I was doing that for dramatic effect. Well, don't! Just tell the story! Okay. Noah and his family lived in the land, and his children had children, and those children had more children, and then those children had even more, and well, you know, you get the picture. Until there were lots of people on the earth once more. Now back then, everybody spoke exactly the same language, and you didn't have to learn Swahili or Japanese or anything, because you could say hello to anyone, and they knew exactly what you were, what you were saying. One day, everyone was talking, and they came up with an idea. Let's build ourselves a beautiful city to live in. It can be our home, and we'll be safe forever and ever. So then they had another idea. And let's build a really tall tower to reach up to heaven. The book has to be turned. So turn it! I am turning it. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, they said. We'll say, look up, look at us up here, and everyone will look up at us, and we'll look down on them. And then we'll know we are something special. We'll be like God. We'll be famous and safe and happy, and everything will be all right. So they got to work. Brick by brick, the tower grew higher and higher until it soared above the city, touching the sky. They built stairs in the tower to climb to the top. It was like a giant staircase to heaven. Look, they cheered. We're the ones. See what we can do with our very own hands. They were quite pleased with themselves. I can tell. <laughs> you can tell? Yeah. But God wasn't pleased with them. God could see what they were doing. They were trying to live without God. But God knew that wouldn't make them happy or safe or anything if they kept on like this. They would only destroy themselves. And God loved them too much to let that happen. So God put a stop to their building plans. How did he do that? Well, one morning they went to work as usual but everything was different. How? Well, it was different because their words were all new and different. You see, God had given each person a completely different language, and suddenly no one understood what anyone else was saying. Someone would say, how do you do? And the other person thought they said, how ugly are you? And they wanted to punch him in the nose. But it wasn't funny. You could be saying something nice like, it's such a lovely morning, and get a punch in the nose because they thought you said, hush up, you're boring. You couldn't even say, excuse me, to check to see if you heard right because no one understood when you said, excuse me. It was a mess. No one could understand what anyone else was saying. So it wasn't easy to work together then. As you can imagine, because people were always quarreling and fighting and getting in a dreadful muddle and becoming grumpier and grumpier until last they were all too cross and angry to keep on building and they just had to stop. So after that, people scattered all over the world, which is how we ended up with so many different languages today. You see, God knew however high they reached, however hard they tried, people would never get back to heaven by themselves. People didn't need a staircase. They needed a savior. They needed a rescuer because the way back to heaven wasn't a staircase. It was a person. People would never reach up to heaven, so heaven would have to come down to them. And one day, it would. Have a great day, friends. I love you bunches and gobs. Oodles and doodles. Bye-bye.